G'day everyone, Connor McDonald here from Ask Tom. Just about to head off to Open World, just been packing my suitcase and getting ready to head off to the airport. Just thought we'd have enough time to squeeze in one last Ask Tom TV episode. This was a question about taking numbers from a column and printing them out in terms of digit fashion. So not spelling out a number, not like 101 being 101, but actually spelling out each digit, 101 being 101. Let's see how we do that with SQL. So my first thought was using the old trick, the JS preformat mask, which has been used for a long time to spell out words. And you can see there we can do two char of two date seven, convert it to a Julian date, then flip it around to JSP format, and that actually spells out the word seven. I thought maybe that's the way to easily solve this problem. But we strike a very simple snag early on, that is that technique only works when the numbers go between one and some upper limit. The moment I throw a zero in there, then I'm in trouble, and obviously some of our numbers will have zeros as one of their single digits. So we'll clear the screen and go back to some very simple first principles. There's only 10 digits we have to worry about, so we might as well just use a simple case expression, look for each digit, and then return the text. Running that for a simple demo, we can see three gets mapped out to three, and we have a reasonable confidence that they're all gonna work, including zero, because it's included in the case expression. Now we have to handle the fact that a number has more than one digit. We can use our familiar connect by dual trick to actually cycle our way through the digits using substring. So in this case, we look at the figures one, two, three, we give that a run, and then we can see each digit has been converted to its word equivalent. So we can handle a single number, convert it to a string, extract the digits, easy enough to do. Now we have to tackle the task of multiple rows in a table where each row contains an integer. So we'll create a table called T, put a few values in, and now we have to convert them to the digit equivalents in Word. If we were using Oracle 12C, we could use a lateral command to actually very simply and concisely do this extraction. But because our original question was from 10G, we have to use a trick. We actually create a multi-set of all the information and then we can use that to join back to our original table to actually extract each individual digit for each individual row. Now we just fold the two things together, our case statement to actually convert digits to words and our connect by and multi-set clause which actually extracted the digits. We bring it both together and there we have our word-based digits as rows from the rows of the table. If I was on Oracle 11 or above, the rest of the exercise would be trivial. I would simply use the listag function to bring those rows together to make a concatenated list. A lot harder in Oracle 10 though, we have to use an aggregation technique, uh, hooking into the OCI aggregation method. So the first thing we do is we create a type called string ag type, and we have hooks into our OCI aggregation interface. The type body is a little bit more complicated. The key thing here is in line 29, we're actually cycling through the aggregated data with an order by clause to guarantee that our information will be ordered by. This makes sure that our concatenation will come out in the correct order. Or at least this is what I thought. We'll explore this when now that type body is created and see how we actually worked out. I place a function wrapper, strarg, around my enabled type, and now I fold that into my original query. I've got my source data being the query we saw before, which takes all the digits, converts them to words on a row by row basis. Now I'm using the strag function to concatenate those rows together in the same way that listag would work in Oracle 11. And when I run that, it is true that the string has come out in order, but not in the order of the digits. It's come out in the order of the sorting sequence of the actual words. So one precedes zero because O comes before Z. So you can see my result is actually not what I want. I want 101, not 110. I'll have to do some playing around with this to get it to work correctly. To work around this issue, what I'm doing now is actually prefixing each element with the level number, which is equivalent to the actual position of each digit in the actual string of the numbers. What this does is put a numeric value in front of each word, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., such that when we sort it in familiar ASCII sequence, it will still come out in the digit order. And there I have 1, 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc., simply because I've actually prefixed each of those words with the left padded or zero padded version of the actual level number. 
or in this case the position of each digit in our original number x. Having done that, I now need to strip out that information I used for the ordering such that we get a nice clean result. I'm using regular expression replace here to look for everything that comes between an at sign, some digits, followed by a tilde, which was my prefixing system. I'll strip that out, thus leaving just the actual values we require in our word printout. And there we have it. We've managed to actually produce our word-based strings without using listag because we're restricted to Oracle 10G. Obviously 11G and above, much, much easier. That's the last Ask Tom TV episode before Open World. We'll be taking a small hiatus, but obviously the Ask Tom team will be very busy at Oracle Open World. If you're coming along to the conference, please drop in and say hi. We'll be all over the conference in the exhibition halls and session conferences. Just check the session catalog and we'll see you all there. Bye for now.